Hello friends, in this video I'm going to do one excellence question that was asked in NCA exam, NCEA exam in 2007 and the topic was coordinate geometry. Okay, so let's read the question. I'll use the graphic calculator and also show you how to do it without the calculator. Find the distance between the lines 4x plus 3y is equal to 5 and 4x plus 3y is 15. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. So I explain what distance mean. I've drawn two lines. Suppose, let me highlight this. Now, suppose these are, this is a line and these are two lines. Okay. Now, if you want to find the distance between two lines, suppose, and what you do is, you can, if you take any point here, you can take any arbitrary point on this line, and then if you can draw a line which is perpendicular to this line. So, let me try to draw a line which seems to be perpendicular. So, what I'm saying is, this is... So let us say this is perpendicular. So this say this is L1, this is line L2, and this is line L3. Now this is a point, any point P, and this is point M. This is point M. And M is the foot of perpendicular from P on from P on uh, line L2. So this 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 distance between, so PM is called the distance between L1 and L2. See, you may say, well, why is this called distance? Why isn't, wouldn't this be a distance? Suppose if you draw L, suppose this is also a distance, but this is not the shortest distance. So when they're asking you distance, they are referring to the shortest distance. Uh, if you can understand right angle triangles, this is this is shorter than this, or this is the shortest. Or if you join, if you find, if they're asking you the distance, it is this perpendicular distance between the two lines. So let me delete this now. Okay, I want to delete this, and also delete this. Okay, <coughs> now, let me drag this away. I want to use that later. <coughs> so let me write this first equation as first equation is 4x plus 3y is equal to 5. So can I write 4y is 5 minus 4x. Dividing all by 3, y is equal to 5 over 3 minus 4 over 3x. So this is equation 1. Okay, equation 1. And the second equation is again 4x plus 3y is equal to 15. Now, if you have learned coordinate geometry from the equation, you can see that the lines are parallel. So again, 3y is equal to 15 minus 4x. So dividing by 3, y is equal to 15 over 3 minus 4 over 3x. So, equation of the second line, y is equal to 5 minus 4 over 3x. So, if you know the equation of the line, which is great, this is a gradient. So, the gradient for both the lines are the same, or the slope of both the lines are the same. Okay, so, they have, their lines are parallel. Okay, now let me show you how to get your calculators out. And let me graph it. So, you go to menu, and go to graph. <coughs> And then type in 5 divided by 3 minus 4x divided by 3. That's one line, so let us shoot. So that's this line. And the other line would be 5 minus 4x divided by 3. Okay, that's the. So these two lines are parallel. So if you find. Uh, 
So here, the second line has a y-intercept of 5. So let me draw a, a rough diagram of that. So let me show you. So this is one line. It looks like this. This is the other line. It looks like this. And the lines are parallel. Okay. So here, by just looking at the lines, they're not drawn to scale. That's not important. So this is what this is the first line which is 5 over 3. This is 5 over 3, which is 2 and 1 third, and this is your point, this is your far. So this is L1, the first equation, and this is L2. Okay? Just like that. They have the same slope, they are parallel. So I want to find the shortest distance between these two lines. So I'll draw a line, which is which will be perpendicular to both the lines because they both are parallel. Okay, so these two lines are parallel. So this is, as these two lines are parallel, and I'm saying that these two lines are perpendicular. So this will also be perpendicular to this line. Okay, but my focus is to find this point of intersection. Okay, so if you want to find the, this point, you'll have to write the equation of this line. So we know the equation of this line, L1, is this line, okay? So this is, this is equation 1, yeah. And equation of this line is y is equal to 5 minus 4 over 3 x. So this L3, so this is L1, this is L2, and this is the L3. So equation of L3 would be y is equal to, 3 over 4x plus 5. Now, how did I write that? If two lines are perpendicular, now L2 is perpendicular to L, L1. Sorry, L1, L2 is also perpendicular. Oh, sorry. So, this is 3 over 4x. So, I can say L1, L1 is perpendicular to L3 which implies L1 has a gradient of minus 3 over 4. So the equation, can you see a relation between 3 over 4 and minus 4 over 3? The product of these gradient has to be negative 1. That's the rule, okay? This implies 3 over 4 times minus 4 over 3 should be negative 1. And that's why by only looking at the gradient, I can say that the gradient of this perpendicular line has to be 3 over 4x plus 5. Now, how did I write 5? How did I write 5? It is by looking at the y-intercept. I know that the y-intercept of L2 is 5, and L3 is passing through 5, so the y-intercept has to be 5. So, I'll show you this on a calculator. So, now write 3, the equation was 5 plus 3x divided by 4. Just like that. Okay, I'll show you. Let me scroll up. So this is this is what I'm saying. They are intersecting. Okay, so I'm going to delete this first line. So which is, I'm going to delete this. Delete, yes, F1, and then draw it. So this, this is, oh, I deleted the wrong, uh, I should have deleted that. I should let me delete this first. So this is this line. Okay. Um, okay. So the first equation I want. I don't want the sec. I want the second equation was five. Or L three is five plus three x divided by four. That that line. I want to find this line. The first line was uh, 5 divided by 3 minus 4x divided by 3. I think I'm right. Yeah, this is what I want. So I want to find this point of intersection. And uh, if you go G solve and you go again F5, which is intersection, is 1.6, 3.8. Okay, so I'll show you how to do this without the cap. You have to show the working. Is minus 1.6, 3.8. Just like that, you can say this point of is 
minus 1.6 3.8 okay now let us so let us show how we can get that so what is l l1 equation of l1 is y is equal to phi third minus 4x over 3 and l3 equation of l3 is y is equal to phi plus 3x over 4 so can i say that this is y and this is also y therefore i can say that phi over 3x minus 4x over 3 is equal to phi phi i am getting confused okay so let me write phi over 3 minus 4x over 3 my brain is not working probably i need a bit rest now phi plus 3x over 4 I'm going to bring the x's on one side, so minus 4x over 3, minus 3x over 4 is equal to 5 minus 5 thirds. I'll not use a calculator. So here I'm going to make these 12s. So I'm multiplying with 4. So this is minus 16x over 12. I'm going to multiply with 3 minus 9x over 12 is equal to multiplying by 3 this is 15 out of 3 minus phi out of 3 so this is minus 25x over 12 is equal to 10 over 3 so you can this is you say 25x over 12 is equal to minus 10x 10 over 3 now x is equal to cross multiplying minus 10 times 12 divided by 3 times 25 20 this is 25 so 5 goes in 25 phi times 5 goes in 10 minus 2 times 3 goes in this is 4 times so x is equal to minus 8 over 5 which is minus 16 over 10 which is minus 1.6 so now you can find y i'm not going into details so i'll put x into any one of those equation okay and you will find so let us do that so y this is an easy equation y is equal to 5 plus 3 quarter x y is equal to 5 plus 0.75 x which is 5 plus 0.75 times negative 1.6 so y would be 3.8 i'm not going into that detail so this point i explained is minus phi minus 1.6 3.8 and this point we know is 0 comma phi now we can use the distance formula to find the distance using Pythagoras <coughs> so the distance formula is nothing but Pythagoras theorem so uh, distance using Pythagoras distance would be square root of the uh, change in y the change in y is 5 minus 3.8 so 5 minus 3.8 squared plus the change in x is the change in x is 0 the change in x would be 0 take away 1 point negative 1.6 that is 0 take away negative 1.6 squared so let me use a calculator so this is same as phi take away so this is 1.2 am i right 1.2 squared plus this will become plus 1.6 squared okay i'll use a calculator now so i'll go shift square root oh menu run shift square root bracket 1.2 squared plus 1.6 squared close the bracket that's two so final answer is the distance is two 
Now I have got the answer from the marking schedule and this is the distance. Okay, the distance is 2. We got that the same way and, and if you get this, you'll get an E code. Hopefully this is one of the uh, lengthiest video. This video has been helpful. See you in the next video.